Hello, this is Christy, and today we will look at Camtasia's media library. The media library is new, uh, added in Camtasia 2019, and it allows you to save things that you use all, all the time in your projects, in your video projects, in your Camtasia editing that you over and over again, you use them like transitions or maybe even lower thirds, graphics, videos, animation, all that kind of thing. You can save them and reuse them from a common place without having to hunt down uh, for them on your hard drive in project folders everywhere. So I want to show you how this works. You can find it on the left menu here in Camtasia. It's called library and you see mine is empty right now. So I'm going to load some assets that I use all the time in my projects. So I have this lower third graphic with my logo and website on it. So I'm importing this into my media bin for now. But if you want to have this accessible in all of your projects, um, you can add this to your media library. So then when you start a new project, it's always there for you to use. So I'm going to just put my video here on the timeline. It's just a video and my graphic here. So every time I want to use this, I have to go and find it on my hard drive. But what I can do is I can right click on it and say add to library. Before I do that though, um, let me just go to the library here and show you that you have a default little default library that you can use to just drop stuff in here. But if you want to stay organized and you have more things you're working with, you can create multiple libraries. So I'm just going to create a new library by going to the library drop down here and click create new library. I'm going to give it a name. And you can uh, start from blank or you can use one of the existing libraries to import the content from those and replicate it. But I'm just going to start from blank, create the library. And now you can see this is the selected library, uh, Christy here. And I can just go now and click right click on my uh, graphic here, add to library. And it's asking which library I want to add it to and I'm going to click OK. So now I am in this library. Of course, you can right click and rename stuff to be more organized and everything else. So you can find your stuff if you have more assets in here. The um, nice thing about this is that maybe if you see my graphic here, I just placed it on my uh, canvas on my uh, scene here and I typically put it on the right side here and I fade it in and out during my projects. Uh, like on the intro and outro. So um, the library uh, not only allows you to save these graphics, but you can also add animation to your things, to your assets, to your graphics on your scene, and then add those together to the library. So I'm going to demonstrate this now. I want to have this uh, graphic here slide in from the right and then uh, kind of stay there for a couple of seconds and then slide out. So the way that I do this is I can use the animations. Um, I can click on my badge with logo here and add a custom animation onto my clip. And now it's correct in here. So I'm going to go back out to the beginning and move it out of the scene. So when I play this back, you will see that my uh, graphic comes into the scene and it stays here. And now here I want to make it slide out. So I'm going to drag another animation on on the timeline and slide it out of the scene. And now let's watch the complete animation. So here we go. It's sliding in. And now it's sliding out. So very simple animation. But if I want to reuse this in my future projects so that I don't have to always do this animation here and place it and put it on the scene and like that and find the right place for it and everything. All I want to do is just right click on my whole clip here in the timeline with the animations on it and everything. And I can actually add this to the library here, add to library. Click on this again. I will say animated badge 
with logo. Doesn't matter what name I give it. I'm selecting the library. I want to put it in and click OK. So now let me just start a new project. I'm going to just not save. It's a brand new project here. And uh, all I'm going to import is that video with the driving. I'm just going to place that onto my timeline. And now I want to use my animation and just quickly put it onto my um, video clip here onto my project at a, couple, a second in. So I'm going to the library, select my library if it's not selected. And here it is animated badge with logo. All I have to do is just drag this onto my timeline and play. So as you can see, it has remembered everything um, that I do I've done before. And now I can reuse this and use it every time in all of my future projects without having to recreate all of that. So this has been a video with a, an introduction to the library in TechSmith Camtasia 2019. Uh, if you enjoy my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.